Hello and welcome to the Social Today Show. So a couple of uh, changes today, slightly later start time of 9.30 as I'm working here in the Growth Hub in Gloucestershire, Gloucester in, in Gloucester today. Uh, so uh, basically providing social media clinics today for local business people where I'll be reviewing their social network uh, profiles. So uh, yeah, different, uh, different time and different location, but uh, we'll be back as per normal at 8.45 next week on, uh, on Monday with the Social Today Show where we review the latest social network features plus lots of other good stuff including question time, uh, secret tip, tools talk, my number of the week and and finally. So uh, let's start off with question time so to give you a bit of a chance to, to think about that so you can uh, reply and post in the uh, in the comments that would be uh, that would be great. Uh, see we've got a few people uh, joining in welcome Marcus welcome uh, Crockett to uh, this week's show. So question time this week is if you had to pay for a Facebook page, would you? So if you had to pay for a Facebook page, would you pay? Do let me know in the uh, comments below. That is this week's uh, question time. Uh, welcome Sarah Townsend to the uh, to the show. So uh, let's kick off with uh, some news from uh, Facebook as per always. So two items uh, this week. First of all, mobile will be much faster on Facebook when you're using the uh, the mobile uh, mobile app, uh, particularly when you go off and visit other websites. So if you link to another website, this will be pre-fetched, a uh, new concept coming in from Facebook here, uh, that as long as your website or the website you're visiting, so uh, important message to ensure that your own website is mobile optimized. As long as it is, it will basically load faster on the Facebook app, which is uh, great news for users of uh, Facebook uh, Facebook mobile. mobile. Uh, I am indeed in the Growth Hub, uh, Richard. I am in the uh, Skype pod, as they call it, uh, in the Growth Hub uh, this morning, here running some social media clinics, looking at uh, social network uh, profiles, and uh, also meeting a client this morning to go through their, uh, their LinkedIn profile. Uh, so a slightly different background from normal and I also must apologize to the um, uh, for the shiny head uh, syndrome but I uh, haven't really got too much of control uh, of the uh, of the lighting in uh, in this environment uh, oh thank you very much uh, Sarah yes uh, new uh, new glasses uh, very kind of you so yes question time is if you had to pay for Facebook would you pay for it would you have to would you pay for a Facebook page if you needed to uh, the second item of news on Facebook concerns offers so offers are really useful advertising aspects, advertising product from feature, uh, from Facebook, uh, whereby if you have a discount or offer, you can basically promote this using a Facebook offer ad. And it's pretty good as it stands, so it basically gives you a certain amount of offers that you can uh, give away. Uh, these can then be uh, claimed, but now there's a whole bunch of uh, additional options that you can add to your offer on Facebook to, to make it more attractive. So uh, we'd certainly encourage you to check out Facebook uh, offers on their advertising platform if you have something special to offer. So if you have a, a freebie or a discount, for uh, for example. Uh, great that uh, Sarah's contributing. I wouldn't pay for a Facebook page. I find LinkedIn and Twitter far more useful for, for my business. Thank you for, for that, Sarah. Uh, the question today is, if you had to pay for a Facebook page, would you? So there's no indication, and I don't think you would ever have to pay for uh, a Facebook page, but as a theoretical question, and uh, as, as a matter of interest, I would be interested in your, um, in your views uh, on this. Um, actually, Ben, later than you, usual today normally quarter to, to nine but uh, at 9 30 today uh, back as per normal quarter to nine next uh, next week uh, as Ari says ideally not paying for Facebook we spend enough on advertising yes well you are kind of like paying for it in that way I guess I think it would make many of my clients focus on other networks I agree uh, paid Facebook page depend on Facebook's pay, uh, Face features customization branding and ability to use it as channel back to my website rather than vice versa uh, and Richard Cart Blanche uh, very uh, uh, dogmatic there I wouldn't fair enough uh, welcome to my mum my mum is on the on the show is in the uh, in the house welcome mum thanks to, for uh, joining the uh, joining the show uh, so uh, on to another bit of Facebook news specifically Facebook Messenger 
So, uh, Messenger, very interesting. This, I think this could be hugely popular. It's another feature that will potentially uh, kill off Snapchat in that Facebook have introduced instant video. So how this works is that during a messenger conversation, you can fire up the video icon on the top right hand side and uh, a little video box will um, pop up as you're talking to somebody with you in that video. And if the person wishes to respond in like, uh, in kind, so they can basically also use uh, fire up a video and uh, as part of that conversation. So quick and easy instant video on uh, on Facebook. Uh, I think this will it make people get over their reticence with using uh, video. Uh, we are all a bit nervous after all when it comes to comes to video, but because this is so quick and uh, and easy could be a real takeoff, a real boost for video in general, uh, Facebook's instant video, which is available uh, now. Uh, so um, I am in the Growth Hub today, Growth Hub in uh, Gloucester, so in what they call the um, Skype pod here, uh, running some uh, social media uh, clinics here uh, here this morning. Um, so. Um, Oh yeah, a few, <laughs> a few uh, good wishes to, to to my mum. Great that the uh, the conversation is uh, carrying on. Excuse me, while I have a, have a bit of a, a cup of tea here. So please do tell me about your views on Facebook Instant Video. Is this a feature you can see yourself using? either for business or for uh, for personal uh, use. Uh, personally, I think it's gonna be uh, really, really big. Could be a, a very interesting uh, new feature from uh, from Facebook, just because it's so convenient. Uh, it's not gonna take up the whole screen. You don't actually have to make a video call, which hasn't proved too popular using Facebook Messenger. Never really understand that why, seeing as it's uh, free compared with uh, mobile phone networks. Uh, but this instant video, quick, easy, doesn't take up the whole screen. Um, and I think all those very positive features that uh, will enable it to uh, take uh, take off. Um, so uh, moving on, yeah, there is a Richard uh, here watching as well, uh, Mum. So I don't think that was actually a, a mistake there. Both got a, another Jonathan and a, a Richard uh, on the uh, on the show. Um, other news of uh, Paris on Periscope. More live video coming from Periscope, of course, who also provide uh, live broadcasting, owned by Twitter. And they are getting into sponsorship and making it possible for businesses and brands to earn money. And they're kicking this off this week with the US Open Tennis in the uh, in the States at uh, Flushing Meadow. And got a couple of brands, including Chase Bank and uh, Grey Goose Vodka, uh, that are basically sponsoring clips on Periscope sponsoring live video clips so uh, this is probably going to be opened up to other brands as uh, as well uh, so that is going to be um, an interesting way of perhaps making an additional uh, bit of additional income using uh, Periscope and live video both for content uh, from a content producer's point of view you can get paid by a sponsor and from a sponsor's point of view you can get added uh, added awareness there uh, Twitter uh, news uh, there is a new video tool on Twitter so this is quite interesting so if you go to uh, Twitter's um, media studio uh, I'm afraid I haven't got the uh, got the link I uh, didn't write that uh, write that down but um, uh, I will put the link in the show notes as uh, always or if somebody um, perhaps Azaria could uh, dig out the link to Twitter's media studio and post it in the comments that would be uh, that'd be really helpful but it will be uh, on my blog at internetfuture.com slash blog uh, later and what's quite good about this is that it it brings all your video and uh, media photos and that sort of content in one place that you can work on it and uh, edit it. But what I like, like most uh, of all about it is that because it's got a record of all your past photos, you can basically go back and uh, retweet them, which is uh, kind of cool. So um, check out this uh, media studio from Twitter. And there's an equivalent app as well called Twitter Engage that works in the same, uh, same sort of way. Uh, moving on to Instagram. So Stories is absolutely huge, uh, really taken off in a big way, as my number of the week will illustrate uh, shortly. And it's now available on the Explore tab. So if you hit the uh, magnifying glass, the search icon on Instagram, you get into a whole bunch of uh, search features, including Explore. 
and stories are now showing up there, which is obviously going to make them even more uh, popular. Uh, stories on Instagram, very uh, only been with us about a month, and for those that don't know, it's basically a combination of video clips and uh, photos that you can record, and it's displayed across the uh, the top of your of an Instagram uh, feed. Fantastic, Azaria, good work. Thank you very much. So that's the link there to. Uh, the media studio on um, on Twitter. Uh, business profiles. Now, I've mentioned this before on Instagram, and uh, last time I uh, spoke about it, uh, they hadn't um, rolled it out to my internet future um, Instagram account, but they now have. So I'm kind of guessing it's probably available for all accounts. So if you're using your Instagram for business, you definitely want to switch to uh, a business account. So um, go into sweat settings and uh, and look at that. You get loads of good stuff like uh, measurement, for example, a nice uh, contact button and other information that you can put on your Instagram uh, profile. Uh, Sarah likes uh, stories on Instagram, good for people like me who are precious about the way their timeline uh, looks. Yeah, abs uh, absolutely. Um, very uh, very good uh, good point there, uh, Sarah, and I have indeed been uh, following your, um, your stories. Uh, Small point, but, uh, but another plus for Instagram you might not have spotted. Pinch to Zoom, now available this week. So uh, the classic uh, where you can on other apps uh, pinch the photo and uh, zoom in. That is now available on the iOS app only at the moment for Instagram, but it will be coming to uh, Android apps in the, uh, in the near, um, near future. Uh, doesn't always inform me Facebook of who has joined the show, so apologies if I haven't given you uh, a welcome. I know a few people were intending to watch for the first time today. So uh, if you are watching, uh, and if, especially if you're new, welcome to the social, uh, social Today show. Uh, great to pass on that bit of a uh, bit of knowledge then uh, to you, uh, Sarah. It is pretty pretty new. I think it was just announced that a couple of uh, couple of days uh, days ago. Just before we move on to uh, LinkedIn um, news, just to flag up my question time this week. Please post your answer in the comments. Would you pay for Facebook if you had to pay for a, a Facebook page? Would you do that? Do let me know your views on paying for Facebook. This isn't something that they are even considering introducing. I think it's probably unlikely, but it's a it's an interesting um, uh, question, and I would like to know your uh, answer to that. Would you pay for uh, pay for Facebook? Uh, so moving on to to LinkedIn, just a small one on uh, LinkedIn, and kind of connected with um, Apple and uh, and Siri. So uh, on Wednesday's big uh, Apple event, when they will no doubt uh, release the new iPhone uh, 7 uh, and also some new software updates including a new version of Siri and you will be able to do a couple of things on uh, on Siri social media wise you'll be able to send a LinkedIn message via Siri so uh, that's kind of quite uh, quite cool whether you'll be able to post on LinkedIn and do stuff with Facebook I'm not too sure uh, but that will be worth a try after software has been upgraded uh, Wednesday or uh, or Thursday uh, Thursday time uh, and also on Pinterest as well moving on to uh, Pinterest news uh, you can definitely you'll be able to search uh, on Pinterest using uh, using Siri so this might actually give Siri a real uh, real boost because there's going to be other improvements to it as uh, as well so um, look out for that making your social network uh, easier uh, Richard welcome to the show uh, we already do is they're pretty ineffective without papers yes uh, fair point so um, advertising I guess is the is the way that you can uh, pay uh, that you are paying uh, paying Facebook and yes I do agree really you do have to uh, advertise to make Facebook uh, work for uh, for business. Uh, so, uh, what else we got here? Uh, Pinterest, yes, uh, just finishing off the social network uh, development news before we move on to the other regular features. Uh, there's a new audience of engaged people for the ads, um, so that's quite good if you uh, want to put ads on Pinterest in front of people who have already been engaging with your pins on Pinterest, you can now, uh, now do that, that sort of helps focus in targeting your uh, advertising on Pinterest a little bit more. Uh, targeting of your website visitors has improved. There's another eight different uh, categories of uh, specific website advertising now. Uh, very sort of uh, useful that because you can basically target people, for example, who perhaps have uh, visited your checkout page uh, and purchased something and uh, put an ad in front of them for something else, for example. Uh, so that is worth looking at if you are advertising on Pinterest. Indeed, advertising on Pinterest in the UK is um, is pretty new, uh, but definitely worth um, investigating. 
Um, and the other new feature is they call it actor-like audiences. So these are similar to what's called look-alike audiences on Facebook and Twitter, where you can create your custom audience, let's say of people who visited your website or who are subscribed to your email address, and advertise to people like them. So um, kind of cool. And uh, Pinterest have now got this and they're calling that actor like uh, audiences. Uh, having issues to connecting to existing Facebook page, that's interesting, so I can help you with that, Jonathan, do uh, do let me know. Uh, do you know when Instagram bring out an ISF that works properly on an iPad? Current, currently it's iPhone shape. That's very true. Yeah, it's always puzzled me, that one, why there isn't a specific um, iPad, app for, iPad app for Instagram. And uh, no, I don't, but um, hopefully that will be coming in the, uh, in the near future. So this week's secret tip is use embedded tweets. So I've often been a long been a fan of embedded tweets. So what this means is that you can basically pick up a, a tweet and put it on your website, but it's not just a screenshot. It is actually a live tweet, so people can engage and interact with that uh, that tweet. And it's really easy to do. You can just go to the three dots under any tweet, not just yours, could be somebody else's, and copy and paste the code into the source area of your uh, of your website. Now. An example of how to use this would be testimonials. So if somebody has said something nice about you on Twitter, why not put that onto your web page? Because it's a nice authentic way of showing that you know what you're doing. Um, a nice sort of recommendation that's been made on uh, on Twitter live on your on your website. And to give you an example of this as a as a bonus, check out cornerstone.co.uk. Uh, they're a, a shaving club for uh, for gents, of which I am actually a, a customer. Um, their Twitter handle is uh, if somebody wants to put that in the comments, that would be great. Um, cornerstone.co.uk and their Twitter handle is cornerstone underscore HQ. But if you look at their website, you see they've got some uh, great recommendations for customers as tweets there. And um, that's powerful. Uh, it works uh, works quite uh, quite nicely. Um, Padstagram, yes, good suggestion from Sarah for a Instagram iPad app, as that isn't uh, isn't an official one. Uh, welcome, John uh, Denley. Uh, fantastic to uh, to have you on the show, and happy birthday! I hope you enjoyed your birthday over the um, over the weekend. Uh, so, uh, tools talk. So this week's tool, one that I've mentioned in uh, workshops, if you've been along to my workshops before, is Pixabay. So this is an excellent uh, library of photos. So there's lots of photo libraries out there, but what makes this one good is that the vast majority of them are free, and the free ones are nicely separated from the ones you have to pay for. So you can put a search for any term into Pixabay's large library. It's uh, pixabay.com. If uh, Azaria or somebody could type that into the comments, that would be brilliant. And the results come up at the top with the paid photos, and underneath you have all the free ones, of which there are usually loads. So a uh, great way to find photos for your social media uh, on uh, on Pixabay. Uh, thanks for typing in those link links, Sarah, to uh, Cornerstone's uh, Twitter and uh, website. That's uh, brilliant. Pexels, oh, that's a new one on me. I have to uh, have to check that out. Uh, thanks, uh, thanks. Cesaria. Uh, so uh, just finally uh, wrapping up uh, fairly shortly, we've got about three minutes to go to bring it in under the 20 minutes. Um, Pixabay.com. Uh, uh, question time is, would you pay for Facebook? So would you pay for a Facebook page if Facebook brought in a charge? Do let me know. I'd be interested in your, uh, in your views um, on that. So two sections left, number of the week. So my number of the week is, well actually I've got a bonus for you this week, two numbers of the week. So first number is a third. So amazingly, Instagram stories is being used by a third, or 33% I guess, of all users already. And it's only been around a month. Uh, so uh, quite uh, staggering there. Uh, Instagram stories proving really popular. And uh, really like this one too, so uh, couldn't leave it out. 87% of people, this is from uh, Pinterest and refers to Pinterest, 87% of people have made a purchase after finding a product they liked on Pinterest. So that is that is huge. So if you're not yet using uh, Pinterest and you have a visual product, or even if you don't, uh, I make quite good use of uh, Pinterest, if I say so myself, get plenty of uh, impressions and activity for, it has to be said, relatively uh, little uh, effort. So um, do check out uh, Pinterest. That is, a, that is a huge stat. 87% have made 
of Pinterest users have made a purchase after finding a product that they liked on the uh, on the platform. And um, finally, um, yeah, you do actually get, um, yes, uh, now, uh, Jonathan, good point, but the beauty of Pixabay is that it's all in one place because they do have Shutterstock images on there. So uh, they bring in paid images from sites like Shutterstock. So you get it all in one place, get the paid ones at the top and the uh, free ones uh, underneath. Um, and finally, so my and finally story refers to Apple. They've always been um, a bit, um, well, strangers to social media. They are not huge social uh, social media users. But their Twitter account uh, went uh, into action uh, this week, quite uh, quite interestingly. Uh, the account got a new uh, cover photo flagging up the um, uh, it, to match the branding of the event on uh, uh, Wednesday. Uh, they got a, put a new logo uh, in the profile pic area. They got the account uh, verified. Um, so this is the first action on the Twitter account since they uh, Apple joined in 2011, and the uh, it's just at, at uh, Apple. Um, and interestingly, um, they haven't tweeted, but they've paid to promote a promoter tweet. So if you look at their timeline, there's nothing there, but the uh, promoted tweet flags up their event this uh, this Wednesday. Uh, thanks for that, uh, John. Another useful uh, site for uh, images uh, there. Uh, free images. So um, we will see. Keep an eye on what uh, Apple decide to do on the uh, on the social uh, social media front. Um, Shutterstock search is much better. Thank you for for that. Um, been a while since I've used it, so um, I uh, I will uh, will check that out. Thanks for the uh, for the heads up. So uh, we are 21 minutes in. So very much time to uh, wrap up. Uh, seeing a client here in 10 minutes. Then doing social media clinics for the rest of the day in the uh, in the growth up back. Again, Again next Monday at uh, 8.45. Please do share this uh, video. Loads of people shared it last uh, last week, um, so that was fantastic. If you think your friends will like this video, share it to your friends. If you have a business page and you think that the fans on your business page will like this video, do share it to your business page or do both. That would be uh, that would be amazing. Show notes coming up at intranetfuture.com slash blog later. See you again soon on social media.